I thought you might want to hear this, but one of the quickest ways you could turn off somebody that you're trying to, or you quote unquote, want to do business with is to tell them you want to do what they do, right? If I'm, I'm a solopreneur, right? So I get paid to write, record and produce, right? And I get kind of overwhelmed on the business side. So it kind of slows progress down because I also have to do the business side for myself because there really is no team. Well, Fiverr is my team on on that aspect, which allows me to do a lot of the stuff solo. But I guess with more business minded people, team, uh, people that don't do necessarily what I do, um, the business would grow faster. So I always find it interesting that I run into people and, oh, I want to get down with you. I want to do some. I got this and that to offer. And yo, yo, I can blow up. And it's like, well, fam, if you have what it takes to blow up, well, you don't need me. You don't need me. Because who am I? I'm nobody doing nothing. Matter of fact, I'm so overwhelmed with my stuff. And then when I tell them, you know, when they're coming to me and it's like, hey, you know, uh, I'll check out your stuff, I guess. I don't know what I'm supposed to do because I'm kind of overwhelmed with my stuff. I'm not, I'm in the business of protecting my business. So how can I worry about your business? You see what I'm saying? And so I think the ultimate slap in the face is when they go through all this rigmarole, tell you all this stuff, and then they go on to proceed to tell you, you know, I, I say, like, oh, well, I need help here. I need help here. You can get down with me like that because if you could fill in this and that, you know, and we can get money together because everybody wants to get money with you when you're making money. If you're not making no money, nobody wants to mess with you. But I want to get money with you. Okay, well, this is how you could get money with me. I need X, Y, and Z done to elevate the business to bring in more sales. Nah, 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 nah. I do this. I, I, I record, I rap, I, I rap, I sing, I produce. Yeah, but I already got that covered. I already got that covered. They're already paying me to do that. So how does that work again? I'm just wondering. If you're going to come to somebody, don't you think you should listen to what they need? I, I think it's mad selfish sometimes where people just come to you and they just tell you, bombard you with all the stuff that they're doing. I mean, if you're doing it, that's great, fam. Yo, more power to you. You know what I'm saying? I, I like when people take control of their thing, but it's like you're doing X, Y, and Z, but you ain't baking no bread. I find that a little bit confusing. And somehow, if you get with me, you're going to get bread. Of course you will, because I'm getting bread. So how are you going to help me get bread? Because when I'm you're talking to me, all I hear is what I can do for you, 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 you. You know, you got to bring value to other people. If you're really that skilled and that talented and you got it all, everything, what it takes, I mean, it goes bigger than your talk game. We want to see action. How can you elevate my business or somebody else's business? Because if not, you're just bumping your jibs, man. There's billions of talented people in the world that don't know how to turn a buck. Don't be one of them and stop going around to people asking for handouts. What are you bringing to the table? Because I'm bringing a table. That's all, man.